when you were in this rocket belt thing, how did it affect people towards you or, or towards watching you do this? Give me an idea. Well, um, you're talking about groupies, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there was some of that. Uh, but yeah, you know, I did, you know, you, 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 when I get the Pentagon flight after the flight is over and, and, and people applauding, every, after every flight, people are applauding. And I, well, of course, I can't hear it because I got all my stuff, but I can see it in the movies thereafter. And the reporters are there and photographers, and I'm thinking, Oh, oh, he's looking at me. You know, and, and, because it didn't it, seem like anything to you other than land safely. Or were you excited by the idea? Well, there's no question. I mean, that, that, that uh, being a part of something that's never been done before, you know, it's, it's, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a kick. That, that, that's a real... Uh, well, you had done that in several places, right? Because if you worked on the Kennedy Projects, if you worked on... Mercury, that was also pioneer work. Oh, well, come on. I mean, the Mercury Project, there's, I don't know, 10,000 engineers putting the pieces really? together, testing stuff. I mean, I'm not, I'm not up there saying, hold on, John Glenn, I got to test your, you know. <laughs> I was just doing test work on the components that made up the uh, peroxide uh, thrust engine. But the small, you know, small part. But in the rocket belt, hey, you know, this, you know I'm it. I'm the focus. But you st and you still go to the Rocket Belt Convention? I do. Why? Hello, I mean, after 46 years, uh, if I get if I get a postcard from somebody, you know, but <laughs> now all of a sudden, hey, I'm uh, I'm, I'm not well, not the focus of convention, but I was certainly a key part of it, and and get this adoration and and you know applause and. And do my my uh, presentations. So that's, that's, a, that's a kick. I mean, uh, it hasn't happened in a long time, and for it to you know come together, of course I'd be interested. Sure, sure. So what what didn't you like about doing it? Uh, failing. You know. How yeah. often did you fail? Uh, big time once. Big time once. Big time once. And what happened then? At Cape Canaveral, we uh, had a demo with the uh, idea of having these rocket belts on platforms where the Atlas, you know, rockets were there and something went wrong and the people had to get off the tower in a hurry to grab one of these belts and fly out. Well, our demo didn't work out too well. And along the shore of it is, uh, Due to uh, physical arrangements at the time that we uh, uh, did the flight, uh, I ended up falling 22 feet and, uh, on my head, and I was unconscious for 30 minutes. Oh my God! Man, you know, I'm still alive, obviously, but uh, uh, and, and we really didn't know why that happened um, until uh, a couple of years later. But anyway, that, that kind of uh, I thought any accounting would be a nice <laughs> Maybe he's sitting behind a desk somewhere. Maybe they will write the first part. Um, was there a particular moment or a person that excited you about flying? You mean flying a plane, not flying the belt? Right. What's well, all kind of flying? Well, well there's, there's quite a uh, yeah. diversity here. One thing in 16 seconds, and you're, you know, you're on your own, and the other is you're dealing with knobs and buttons and, and looking out the window and having a good time. But uh, I'm getting more to the question. Well, was there a particular person or a moment that made you love flying? Well, Maybe I, not me, you know. No, no, no. Well, I can't say there was one. It was kind of an absorption, like I say, uh, sweet. You know, Three out of four of the guys on the project, the rocket belt project, were pilots. And Wendell Moore, the inventor, I've flown with him, and you know, and uh, and, and yeah, it's it's it, uh, it, 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 it kind of sticks to you a little bit by little bit. And after a while, I think, yeah, you know, 
Bill Hoffway went to the local airport uh, and uh, took a flying lesson. Bang! Now, I always say, you know, people will come up to me now and they say, you know, I always wanted to learn to fly and I, you know, didn't have the time and all, but, you know. And I say, look, it costs you a hundred bucks. Go out to the local airport, take one lesson, one hour lesson. <laughs> At the end of that hour, you'll know that this is for you. Right. Yeah, it's just like making, you know, a little bit of it. I think you got it, baby. That's all there is to it.